Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Cosmic Royal Family. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. For those of you guys that are new here, welcome. For those of you guys who are returning, welcome back. It's always a pleasure to have you guys. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and tap in. Um, and let's see what messages spirit has for you guys. Let me move all my little stuff out the way. All right. All right. Give me, um, uh, what is the overall energy, the strongest energy, um, of the person that the collective is connecting with spiritually or physically? Unintentional, unfazed, blings in reverse. Okay, so you guys are dealing with somebody who is very, very stubborn. This person, um, they are a manipulator, okay? They try to come off. Um, if you try to make somebody feel like you are unfazed by something that's that's still manipulation so this person they say I'm, I'm unfazed by a separation since i wasn't emotionally invested but then they're here saying unintentional i never meant to hurt you i'm not who you think i am and flings in reverse so this is somebody who tried to come off like they were unfazed, unbothered by this separation. Um, this is a player energy for real, okay? Um, they just don't want you to feel like they ever cared that much. But in reality, this person cared a lot. They did, all right? More than what they wanted, they would like to um, admit. This person... Um, they're not in such a great space right now. This person wish they can tell you that they, they didn't mean to hurt you. Like, I feel like you never got to see the real them. They showed you this egotistical, um, dickhead energy, but that's not who they are. This person, um, was putting on a front. This person is, um, turning their back on someone who they were having a fling with. So if there was a third party involved or somebody they were just like messing around with that you feel like um, or they feel like, which it probably was the reason why um, this person was acting so unfazed, they're cutting this energy off. For a lot of you guys, they've already cut this energy off or they're on the verge of cutting this energy off. But I see some fling being cut off. And this is also them cutting this side of themselves off. I've been sleeping around sometimes one night stands, all right? But it came out in reverse. So this person is done sleeping around. It's like they want to let this part of themselves go, right? Verge. I'm about to confess my true feelings. Please be willing to listen. So this person is on the verge of contacting you guys. They're on the verge of reaching out to you and expressing how they really feel for you guys. Something that they've always wanted to say to you, but they kept themselves back from doing so. Yeah, it's been a burden. It's been a burden being in separation with without like being in separation with you guys, okay? And being without you. It has been a burden. This person is tired of carrying this load of this betrayal. They're tired of carrying the load of um not having you in their life. I feel like this person could have started talking to somebody new. I don't feel like that worked out for this person. I feel like they released this person as well because this person was also a burden. That, that was a burden. Forgive me, I found new love. Uh, someone who makes me feel alive. And for a lot of you guys, Spirit is telling me they feel like you have found new love. And this is really, this is also what's nudging them to come in and communicate and express their feelings to you because they feel like you guys have new love in your life. And that you guys are not open to fleeing energy anymore. This person could have tried to have fleeing a fleeing with you or keep you like in that in and out flighty energy. Um, nothing serious. And y'all cut that energy off. Y'all cut them off 
because you are not just one night stand fling type of energy, you know? They feel like you cut that off so that you can welcome in new love, something stable, something that you deserve. No escape. So you guys are tied together by the red ribbon of faith. It doesn't matter how far I run. My heart always runs back to you. So this person feel like they cannot escape you um, no matter how much they pull back, how they disappear, how they talk to other people. They cannot escape the connection. They cannot escape these feelings that they feel for you. And a lot of you guys, you feel the same way. You feel like you cannot escape this person because you guys are tied together by... Um, it was fate. It was destined. This is a fated destined connection that you guys share. And y'all mutually have a lot of passion and love for it, for each other. But what interfered is this person's ego and the fact that they wanted to play games and wear a facade like they are uninterested in you or they don't care that you are not talking to them anymore or that, you know, you could, you may be just not interested and this person tries to act like they don't care. They, they're unfazed by your absence, you know? This person could also be in the middle of some type of legal, a legal separation or a divorce. I'm ending my long-term relationship to be with you. So this person may express to you how it's still worth waiting for. How they just recently ended a long-term relationship with somebody else. It could have ended badly. Um, this person realized during this separation, during this time apart, that you are the one for them, that whoever they were married to was not a good match for them at all. And this person is like hoping that you guys are waiting for them. They're hoping that you guys are waiting for them. And spirit is just saying like, when this person come back in, take it slow with them because they are getting out of another situation. So don't speed, don't rush because you love them and they love you because there's still a lot of water under, under the bridge. There are still a lot of things that need to be addressed. This person is reaching their breaking point. Look, your choice in reverse. Yeah, this person don't want to give you um, any options. Like It's like, you're going to be with me. We're going to be back together. You have no other choice. So, wow, this is why spirit is saying take it slow because this person is going to try to take you fast because they don't want to lose you. This person may also try to wife you up or husband you up, you know, cause, because they don't want to lose you. So they're going to try to like strong arm, um, strong arm their way back into your life, strong arm a commitment out of you guys. And a lot of you guys, you know, you need to take things slow with this person because, you don't want to be, you know, back in the same position again. Or you just, I don't know, I feel like you guys have to um, heal still. You guys are still healing. And is it possible to heal together with a person that broke your heart? Absolutely. You guys could, as long as both parties can admit what happened, what they did wrong, separate, like individually, right? And decide to work together. You guys can definitely heal together, you know? So... missing you <laughs> and escape yeah this person cannot escape they cannot escape these emotions they can't escape what they feel they know that it's real they can't escape your energy is everywhere and they've tried this person has tried over like indulging in alcohol um, trying to drink their problems away, drink their sorrows away. It's not working. They miss you. They can't get you out of their head. You know, this person has sent you guys like text messages and they wouldn't send them scared. <laughs> Don't know what you're going to say. Don't know how y'all going to react. Spirit is nudging you guys to make sure that you listen to your intuition though. Yeah, make sure you listen to your intuition when dealing with this person. Look at this. You guys have been um, communicating telepathically. I close my eyes and speak to you in a hundred silent ways. Yeah. So, you guys have been communicating telepathically with each other. 
this is definitely a divinely guided connection definitely tell me more holy spirit i have i have new love interest online nothing serious just casual flirting so this could be y'all and also i do feel like like i said earlier this person could have tried dating somebody else it didn't work out it didn't work out and they were just doing this to try to keep their mind off of you guys to stop them from thinking about what happened between you guys how they lost you you know so during this time, this person has been in solitude. I'm taking a break from everyone and everything and spending time alone. I feel like they want to come out of this solitude energy and they're going to ask you for some forgiveness. You know, they want you to forgive them because they were being a player. This person was being a player, you know, and this person is being haunted by your memories. They're being haunted by spirit, like spirit not letting up off this person for what happened. I'm haunted by my decisions and the memories that we made together. Yeah, so it's like every time they close their eyes this person is reminded of the love that y'all shared they are reminded of who you were to them how you treated them what could have been and what should have been you know yeah look at this shut down i'm swearing off dating i have no desire to be with anyone yeah so i saw earlier this person getting rid of flings and anybody that they were just casually like sleeping with and connected with they're cutting them off if it's not you they don't want to talk to anybody they want to reconcile with you reconciliation i'm working up the courage i'm working up the courage to ask you out on a date yeah this person may come with a gift come bearing some type of gift but this person is trying to work up the courage to do so they, this person they're tired of keeping their feelings for you guys a secret i've kept my love for you a secret it's too complicated to explain and that's because they don't know how to explain it they don't know how the spirit is saying this person will call you guys so if you guys have been waiting on communication you will be getting communication from this person for sure. So let's see. Um, let's use these. What is this person's current energy, Holy Spirit? What is this person's current energy? Dang, this came out in the last video. Collapse and downfall. This person is about to have a mental breakdown. And something that they're seeing online that y'all are posting is about to break this person down. Tell me more. R rumors and gossip. So there could be rumors and gossip surrounding you or somebody could be gossiping about you to this person. Or there's rumors and gossip surrounding this person. Yeah, look, casual counterparts. So there's some type of rumor surrounding this person um, pertaining to somebody that they were just like having a fling or something with, you know, this person is in the energy of struggling to be vulnerable, you know, tell me more, struggling to show their true selves, struggling to be naked with their feelings and their emotions, though they want to. All right, tell me more. look social media influences is something this person is seeing online um and it's triggering them whatever you posted pictures videos uh status this part is triggering this person tell me more holy spirit thank you look karmic ties and third party so this person did have some type of um, karmic tie with a third party. And there's some rumors surrounding something that went down between this karmic and your person. See, when they were being disloyal and unfaithful, look, secrets and unsolved mysteries. Yeah, so some type of secret. Maybe come out online. Y'all might see something online that a karmic posted about your person. And they're afraid of this coming out. They're afraid of you seeing this. Whew. See, that's why you got to be careful who you talk to because people will literally get mad with you because you don't want to be with them and they will expose you. And this is the type of energy I'm getting. Somebody trying to expose your person 
to keep them away from you or so that you would completely not want to deal with them but that's not ever going to work look stuck yeah this some this whoever this karmic is they want to keep your person stuck they want to keep this person stuck and away from you you know but your person they all they do is daydream and reminisce about you guys so they may have been stuck in another situation or feeling energetically stuck but this person has been sending you guys telepathic downloads and messages in the spirit realm in the dream realm daydreaming yeah so this person is while they're awake they are spiritually with you energetically with you greed and selfishness so it was their greed I think they came out earlier. It was definitely this person's greed and this person allowing their thirst for more and wanting to have their cake and eat it too. This was a big mistake, a big mistake. It cost them the love of their life. It cost them everything. But I see this person going through some type of rebirth, coming out of chaos, coming out of confusion, coming to you guys new. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. I feel like an apology wouldn't be good enough. So this person feel like you deserve more than an apology. He or she gave me an STD. So this may be the secret that this person could have contracted something from this karmic. Hoping I reach you before it's too late. A karmic male, 35 to 60, could be involved. But this person is hoping that they can reach you in enough time before new love reaches you. This is like a spiritual race between your person and somebody else that you're probably finna get ready to meet. Who can get to you first? I spoke to you harshly because I know I'm guilty and I know you deserve an explanation. So, and to keep themselves from... To keep the truth from coming out, to keep you from asking for the truth, they could have just cut you off cold turkey. They just could have just stopped talking to you. Wow. This person could have paid for spell work to get to get you guys to come back. I'm like, I'm hearing a come to me spell or something to get you guys to come back to them. Confused about my sexuality. I was kind of feeling that when something came out about being exposed about your person when that energy came out but this is your divine partner this is definitely your divine partner and ain't nobody perfect y'all you know but this person is saying that you are all that they need tell me more For, for those of you guys who this is your, your divine partner, there's nothing that a karmic can tell you about this person that has not been revealed in the spirit. Nothing. So this karmic can't tell you nothing to make you, deter you from, if this is your person and this is who you want to be with, it's nothing that this karmic can say to embarrass this person or stop you from wanting to be with this person. They're really going to embarrass themselves. So... I wasn't ready for the type of love you gave, so I ran. This person ran away because your love was just a little too much for them. The emotion that they felt, you took them places that nobody else could ever take this person. You took this person to ecstasy without actually touching them, okay? You showed me nothing but love and crown royal. This person may be a crown royal drinker. Uh, or this is just talking about... You guys coming from a, a royal bloodline. This person may come from royalty as well. King and queen energy together. Wow, this person was acting like a bitch. A male bitch. I spoke to a fake spiritualist about you. She gave me false information. See, they should have never did that. Anything they wanted to know about you, they should have just picked up the phone and called you. Hmm. Ooh. All right, I'm going to um, get a last message. Give me some final messages from their spirit guides to them, Holy Spirit. Final messages. Final messages. Give me messages from their spirit guides to the collective. 
thoughts create your reality. So you guys, be careful with your thoughts. All right, keep your thoughts positive and high vibrational because as within, so without, all right? That means that however you are on the inside, that it'll it'll reflect on the outside. So if you're chaotic, chaotic on the inside, it'll your your reality will be chaotic. So if you're trying to manifest peace around you in your world, you need to have peace within. If you're trying to manifest abundance on the outside of you, you need to feel abundant within. Love is your energy. It is. You guys have beautiful loving energy, and this is your energy. Love is your superpower. All right, give me one more. Death is an illusion. So listen, nothing ever really dies. Some of you guys could have lost someone recently, but death is an illusion. Okay, this that person is physically not around you, but spiritually they are always with you, always around you. Trust me, they are still there. What stops you from seeing them is your flesh. And calm is not a weakness. So don't let nobody hype you up and get you out of your body and have you acting crazy. No, being calm is not a weakness. Stay calm, all right? Don't let nobody come through and blow you for your hop, all right? All right, I love you guys. Peace.